birds apart from us on me and I'm trying to not make it obvious that I'm talking to a camera. Okay, okay. Right now I'm parked um in front of Pizza Hut waiting on my wings. Um today is January fourth and this video is literally It can be at any type of talk. It's, I'm not gonna label it as a girl talk. I'm probably just gonna label label it as or title as a life update because there are some things I wanna talk about. But every time I freaking ask like on Instagram, like any girl talk questions, nobody answers. Nobody answers. Nobody. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I just wanna talk about me and how I've been doing lately and how I've been feeling because I feel like how I'm doing and feeling projects onto how I do other things such as YouTube, school, life in general. Um we gonna backtrack a little bit, like a little rewind or whatever. So a couple like a week or two before break, we got out for break the seventeenth of December. I don't know, I was starting to feel like my normal self again. Um I don't know, I was just beginning to feel like, I guess you could say happy, I don't know. But, I don't know, there was always something like, and it could be the littlest thing that will put me in a down in a mood for nothing. Like literally for nothing. You would think that it wouldn't bother you, but it bothers me. And I don't know if that's something that is normal or something that I need to work on. But I feel like it's something that needs to be worked on. Because I feel like once that little thing happens, it changes my mood for months. Today is January 4th. And I'm still kind of in a funk. But I don't know. Lately, I've just been in this mood where I don't want to do anything because I'm scared of the outcome. And I was talking to my mom this morning because I told her about it and like... Me and my mom, we get along very, very well. Like, all of her friends say that, and all of my friends love my mom. Me and my mom get along very, very well. We have our off days, sometimes our off weeks, but we normally end up right back up under each other. And I'm glad that I have a relationship like that with my mom, but she was like, okay, Melissa, I'm not going to argue with you. Either you want to go or you don't. I would like you to go, but it's up to you. And she said to me, she was like, lately you've just been in a like a funky mood or like I don't care and I'm not even gonna lie I have been in a funky mood and I don't care mood because I just like lately I haven't been caring about anything and I don't want to be like that because like right now is when I actually need to be getting my life together like I have so much scholarship stuff to do I have a scholarship due on the day that that money is due so I have to get on that because I'm not done with that yet but like I'm almost done but not yet and then there's another one that's due at the beginning of February and the end of February. So, like, I'm just trying to keep track of everything. Like, I don't know. I guess lately I've just been focusing on stuff that actually matters. But, like, prom matters. And I've been wanting to go for forever. So, for me to say that I don't want to go is I think I'm just stressed out about color, hairstyle, all that. I don't know. But... Yeah, I have to decide that. And I wish they would have prom had, had prom like April ish, like end of April, so I could have some more time because I don't know. Every time I turn around, it seems like something is happening. I gotta get money for this, money for that. And like, that's not even the problem. It's just like, I can't catch a break. I feel like I can't breathe. And. I don't know, I feel like that's just, like, that's been factoring into my mental health, which has been, like, my mental health, literally, it, it goes like this. It's, like, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, up. Like, I have my moments where I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Like, nothing can touch me. And one little thing happens. One little thing. And I just don't want to talk to nobody. I don't mess nobody. I don't want to do nothing. I'll just sit on my bed, eat junk food all day. And it just gets very depressing. Like, that's what it gives. And I don't want to live like that. Like, I want to be my normal self. So, when I was talking to my mom this morning and, like, I was letting her know, like, how I feel. I was like, I feel like I really need to be prescribed something for my anxiety. Because I feel like it is taking over my life. And, like, I can't think for myself. And my mind is like, it's like this. 
Like I can't, even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking. And that may sound crazy, but like as soon as I wake up, I'm thinking about something. Like, can I just wake up? Can I get the crust out of my eyes first? Like, I can't breathe. And it's so suffocating. And it's also so sad because I'm 18. And I have yet to do anything really fun in my life. Like, I have not lived. It feels like I have not lived. And last year was the most worst year. I don't even know if that's the correct phrase. But it was horrible. So, last year, I'm... I'm giving myself a pass for the year of 2021. But this year, I feel like I need to be more... What's the word? Like, I need to be more... I need to put my foot down with myself and be like, okay, you're going to do this. Stop being a punk. You're, you're going to do this, okay? And it's not even like me making myself doing something. It's like, I know I want to do it, but I'm scared to do it. And that's just how I've been living. Like, I haven't been living for me, and that kills me because life is so short. And I learned that last year when my cousin was killed. Like, he was 19. He didn't get to live at all. If you really think about it. Like, I'm 18. That's only a year younger than when he passed. So, I want to live. I want to do more. I want to go out more. I want to take more pictures. I want to get dressed and go out and have fun with my friends and I want to go out with Taryn and do this and I just I want to make mistakes like I feel like I can't like I feel like I don't let myself make mistakes because I'm so scared of disappointing others and that just causes me to like shrivel up and get scared and just back out completely like no never mind I just won't do it like I feel like I just need to calm down. So that's why I talked to my mom. This conversation was over text, so we'll probably end up talking tonight. But I talked to her, texted her, whatever, and I was like, I really think I need to be put on something for my anxiety so I can just calm down. Like, right now, I have a headache. Because my head, it's like this. It's like a ticking bomb. And I can't just, I can't never slow down and breathe and calm down and lately I've been trying like meditating where like meditate I don't know if, if you can call it breathing exercises but sometimes I just be sitting in the bed and I'll just be taking real deep breaths just for me to calm down and like realize like realize where I'm at in the moment and I also told my mom I was like I feel like I don't live in the moment like I never do anything spontaneous or impulsive like Every, not everything has to be so planned and that's what I need to realize like I need to just calm down like if I want to go get a tattoo as soon as I wake up go get a tattoo as soon as you wake up if I want to go take a road trip go take a road trip like I need to be more spontaneous is what I'm gonna say like I just want to live because I don't want to later down the line regret me not living thought that person's pulling up beside me I was about to get scared but um see and right there like if that person would have pulled up beside me I probably would have stopped the video and just deleted the whole video that's how I am and I need to stop and I'm saying this to y'all because I feel like there are so many other people not even teenagers because I was gonna say teenagers not even teenagers that don't live in the moment don't do enough strictly for themselves I feel like I'm a very very caring person and I feel like I give myself off to other people more than I give myself to myself I feel like I'm not there for myself enough and I also feel like with me being the age that I am and me of course having social media and being around many different people that are at many different points in their life way different than I am I feel like that also puts a like a damper on me and it shouldn't because I shouldn't be comparing myself and not that I'm comparing but I'm just looking like dang they're the same age as me why am I not doing that and that also puts me down but I have to tell myself time and time again you are not them they are not you God put you and this person at two different points at this time for a reason so just because they got this and you don't have this doesn't mean that you aren't going to get it. You may get something better. You don't know, but you have to wait. And that's what I need to learn how to be patient. I need to learn how to process my feelings and my emotions to the point where they don't 
make me just spaz out and not want to mess with anybody and that's how I get and then that makes people not want to talk to me and then that makes me upset angry sad but then it's like I can't even blame them because I'm acting this way because I don't have a certain something when it could be way worse you know like it really could be way worse than how I'm thinking it's worse now but it's really not like it could be way worse so I just, I don't know. I have a lot that I really want to work on myself this year. Like I really want this year to be my elevated year, if that makes sense. I don't know. I just want to work on me. Like I feel like I put so much time and energy and effort to other people. And that's not a bad thing. It's really not. Like when you care for other people, that is, that is something good. But... I feel like I've also neglected myself in the process and I don't want to continue to do that because once you neglect yourself so much, you start to forget who you are and that's how, that's how I'm starting to feel. You know, like on those, those questionnaires or like anything, when they ask like, how would you describe yourself? I've gotten to the point where I don't even know how to describe myself and that is concerning. So I just want to work on me. I would also categorize this year as being my selfish year because I really would like to focus on me. And I'm not saying that because when people say that, you they automatically jump to, oh, well, who's making you? It's not a who. It's not a what. It's just me. It's my fault that I'm there. Like, you could tell people no. Like, if someone asks you something, you don't want to do it, tell them no. If you don't want to go out, say no. If you don't want to do this, say it is perfectly okay to say no. Just like there's a yes, there's a no. So I also want to learn the word no because I feel like I'm often saying yes to a lot of people. And I'm not, like, I don't want anybody to assume anything about my life because I'm only showing y'all what I want y'all to see. So I don't want y'all to assume, want y'all to assume. I'm talking like I have a retainer in or something and I don't know why. I think I'm just thirsty. But I don't want y'all to assume that. I don't know. I just don't want y'all to assume the wrong thing. So I'm hoping that y'all don't. I don't know. Talking. Just saying all that out loud really made me feel better. But I also want to do what I said I'm going to do. Like, I feel like I don't do that either. Like, I say one thing and then I don't do that thing. And. I wonder why I don't get done, but girl, you didn't do anything. Like, you didn't put any effort into it to do it, you know? But this year, I really want to put my best work forward when it comes to anything. I'm talking about school, YouTube, life, every single thing. I feel like I slacked so much last year. And I feel like everyone just gave me a pass because what I went through, I lost two people last year. I was struggling mentally really bad. I was neglecting myself physically. But I'm not even going to lie, some days, some days, like, there wouldn't be days where I would go without taking care of myself. But, like, a day, I probably wouldn't go take a shower. I probably wouldn't brush my teeth that day. And some of you may be really grossed out by that, but I don't care. It's life. Stuff happens. And I felt in that moment like I needed to let myself feel what I was feeling in order, in hopes that one day I would get better. So if you have those days, it is perfectly okay. And if you need someone to talk to, you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to, you can talk to me. I answer all my DMs, um, and my social media is always in my description, but I'll put my Instagram right here. Um, like, don't don't let it just sit there and marinate in your head, because that's what I do with a lot of stuff. When I have such a supportive support system that I could talk to, but I don't know, I'm just scared all the time. Like, I don't want people to think that I'm crazy or I have something wrong with me. Like, I get so angry and so agitated and annoyed and like I just shrivel up and I just burst out on everybody 
And the person that gets it the most, I'm not even gonna lie, it is Taryn. And I'm so thankful for him because he literally deals with all my highs and lows. And he probably thinks something is really wrong with me. But you know what? He hasn't went anywhere. So, but I'm just saying, like, he deals with it the most. And then after that, it would be my parents because, you know, your parents normally can tell when something is wrong with you. So I would have to say my parents and Taryn deal with it the most. Um, and then aside from that, I, I act like, like around other people, I act like nothing's wrong. So let me wait. Y'all, this thing is really cool. Like, I can't even, I'm gonna go ahead and go in and pay for my food and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm at my school now. I only have like 10 minutes or so to eat. But if I'm not like all the way done, then I'll just take them into school and warm them up at lunch. But um, I'm trying to figure out who that is. I got an eight piece bonus swing and the buffalo burning. I wish I would've gave me a fork. I don't know who that is, but this stuff is hot. And my water is in my bag. Like, amen. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I ate, last night I ate like half a bag of fries. Like the bags that you get like from the store, they were like the Arby, Arby's curly fries. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just talk to y'all again until it's time for me to go into the, I should set an alarm cause I'll turn my car off. But I have my Apple Watch on, but it takes me forever to like look at it because it is thick behind coat. I'm not complaining though, I like it, but it makes a lot of noise. But I should have known that. Mm. They didn't put no, like, sauce on it. Y'all, this parking spot that I'm not, that I'm in, it's not even a parking spot. It's like the spots where there's lines. That means you're not supposed to park there. I'm not going any farther back, though. I'm sorry. I can only carry my book bag for a certain amount of time. So, yeah. I'm not going any farther back. If they want to give me a little $5 ticket, they can do that. But they really can't. Please don't. But now that I'm, like, I'm done talking about myself, which I needed that. I'm so glad I did that. But how are you guys feeling? Like, how are you with it being the new year? Like, do you have any, like, New Year's resolutions? I didn't, I don't think I had New Year's resolutions. I just had stuff that, like, I knew I wanted to do. Like, with me bettering myself, being there for myself more. I want to learn what alone, alone time is. Like, I want to experience that. Like, I want to go out to dinner by myself. I really want to. I'll probably be scared because men are weird. People are weird in general. Because the women's be luring the kids to the men. Like, how disgusting. You're a woman. Have some class they want to be talking about class all the time have some class seriously but yeah what let me know if you feel comfortable with letting me know down below if you just want to tell me like i said text me on instagram or whatever i have my instagram up here but um let me know what are some of your new year's resolutions or stuff that you want to get done I'm so weak. They, there's like two entrances to the parking lot. And they had the first one closed off. And somebody just tried to like go in it and realize that it was closed. I don't think they see me in this car. Because they be walk, walking extra close. These ones are so good. I don't even want to go to class. It's not a hard class. Like, I'm actually doing very good in this class, surprisingly. I just don't want to go. And, but I have to go. Like, I can't be late. Either I go or I just don't because I can't be late because I already had a write-up. Did I tell my mom that? I don't know. But if she sees the video, she'll know. But I had, a, I don't know if they actually wrote me up. I think it was a warning. She said it was a warning. But I think when I get six tardies, then it's a write-up. Let me lock my door. Because I don't know if I told y'all. I probably didn't. 
but it was one day i was sleeping in my car and i think it was like the week before break i was sleeping in the car and this random boy opens my back door he's like i'm looking for my phone and me being half asleep i'm like i'm just looking at i'm literally looking at him like what and he's like literally going through my backseat mind you there isn't much in my backseat at the time i think it was a jacket and a book bag i literally think he opened my book bag though y'all i don't know why i didn't let the crazy come out of me that day but i didn't and he was like oh sorry i have the wrong car and just shuts the door so me still in shock i'm like what in the world like what just happened it's 11 23 i gotta get out in a little bit i don't want to i'll get out at like 11 28 and then someone would just let me through that door because that's where they'd be at, at around that time was like walking through and my class is in the new building on the upstairs level so it's so hot but it's so good oh wait i have to remember to go dang i probably need to go now because i have to drop off that bed <laughs> i probably need to get out i just try to get to lunch early and warm up my wings to finish them i need to put this seat back down because i am very high and then I kind of need to hurry up. Let me put my pass back up because it's gonna give me a ticket about this. Like, oh my gosh, I hate this school. I'm gonna be ready when I graduate. I only got four months, <laughs> four or five, something like that. I don't know. I haven't meant exactly count, but um, I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. I'm not gonna prolong it anymore because knowing me, it's, I just don't need. To. But I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope y'all having a great day, whatever, a great day, night, morning, whatever. Um, and I'll see y'all in my next video.